There are a few ways that we've kept the costs down for this build. It's too easy to get caught up in the kind of excitement because it is exciting. You know, we're building our own house and we're obviously furnishing it. And this is the part that is kind of fun. It's more fun than watching them lay concrete anyway. <laughs> Bloody electrician isn't here. I've driven out today and he's not here. I don't think he's gonna be. Gutted that the electrician's not here. Anyway, I'll crack on. This staircase is finished. That's looking pretty nice. It matches the tiles here as well. The wood. Obviously this is where the banister will go. The black banister. Half done some some work. Got spotlights fitted as well. Hey, come on, come on, it's okay. It's just new staircase. Ah, the electrician's here. Perfect. Anna's not here today. It's very difficult with this language barrier. Trying to speak to the electricians. They'd speak zero English, which is fine. <laughs> you know, the problem lies with myself, not knowing enough Thai. It's very, very difficult to not be misunderstood with this. I'm gonna hang around while they do the work to make sure that it's what I want. It's easier to point at something and say, no, 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 not there, there, rather than come back the next day and say, this is all wrong, you know? Do me a favor. If you're enjoying this video, even an incy wincy bit, Give me one of them. The original design, there's like 17 places for outside lighting, which for me is just too much. It's just, it's beyond what's practical really. <laughs> um, you know, and they, they go all around the house, you know, every single pillar has the facility for an outside light. And there's obviously a lot of pillars in this build. You know, it's like there, there's two on here. Two on here. Two on this one. I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy. So we don't want that many. For various reasons, we, we don't want 17. It's not necessarily the cost of these outside lights. They're not particularly expensive at all. The, the ones that we've gone for, they were about um, 500 baht each, I think. It's just the wastefulness of it because we would never need that many outside lights turned on. Um, and you have to remember that we're going completely off grid. Even though they're only lights, with enough of them, it's going to affect our, our energy consumption. And that's something that we are acutely aware of because we're going off grid. 
So yeah, we've just bought eight instead. There's no need for 17. There are a few ways that we've kept the costs down for this build. So the deal we have with the builder is we signed a contract with him initially. We went through everything and every single piece of building material was listed and priced. Every little thing from screws to pieces of wood to concrete, roof tiles, you know, everything, everything. And then obviously some things need to be kind of personally chosen by ourselves um, because, you know, concrete is concrete. <laughs> uh, screws are screws, whatever, whatever. But when it comes to things like roof tiles, um, actually not so much roof tiles, we did pick the roof tiles ourselves, but it was just because we wanted a certain color. That was all it was. We didn't want like bright purple or something, you know. Um, but more personal choices like the bathroom fittings. What the builder said to us was, look, you, you go to wherever you wanna buy them from, you choose them, you buy them, and the money that's allocated for all those fittings within the contract, that will be returned to us or not returned, we just won't pay it. It will be knocked off the next instalment, if you know what I mean. So we obviously went through the contract and we could see the exact amount that he'd allocated in the budget for a toilet, sink, shower, whatever, you know, everything. So we knew what we had to stick to. And actually when we got there, some things were on sale, you know? I was happy to have a toilet uh, that's much cheaper than what he'd budgeted for. And it's the exact same thing with these outside lights. Um, now, the builder hadn't specified 17 of the outside lights. It was the electrician who had told us, you need 17, you know? He didn't have the full picture, you know? He just saw that there's 17 places with wires sticking out, so we need 17 lights, so. But again, the builder had allocated, uh, I think 800 baht each for those lights, for eight of them. So we bought eight, but they were just, I think 460 baht each. So again, it's only a small amount, but if you flip that, if you're in that situation and you choose something way more than what is in the budget, this is when your total cost is gonna creep up and up and up. If you do that a lot, you're gonna pay a lot more than you initially thought. Now we've been very aware of that fact from day one. We've been absolutely on the ball with it. There's nothing, there's not one thing that we've gone over with. We've either stuck to the original budget or we've gone cheaper. So we've ultimately saved some money. So that's something that you have to watch out for. It's too easy to get caught up in the kind of excitement of that because it is exciting you know we're building our own house and we're obviously furnishing it and this is the part that is kind of fun it's more fun than watching them lay concrete anyway but it's, it's important i think not to get carried away with that i remember when we were looking at bathroom stuff and i saw this beautiful sink so nice and i was like oh my god i want that in at least one of the bathrooms and it was like 9,000 baht and our budget for sinks was about 2,000 baht I think so it's just an example of not letting your emotions take over your brain it's important that it's raining it's good though it's going to feed my coconut trees <laughs>